Hazim Sharif Rahman is an American professional boxer. Rahman is the former lineal, WBC, IBO, and IBF heavyweight champion. He won the titles in 2001 with a shock defeat of Lennox Lewis by KO in the fifth round, subsequently losing them back to Lewis in the rematch, which was Rahman's first title defense. Nicknamed The Rock, Rahman began his professional career on December 3, 1994, at age 22. Rahman lives in Las Vegas, and trains in Rochester, New York. Professional career. Equals 1994-1997, prospect equals, Rahman got a relatively late start in the sport. He was an enforcer for drug dealers, and was known for surviving several shootings. He nearly died in a car accident and once survived a shooting where five bullets entered his body. He took up boxing at age 20 and had just 10 amateur bouts before making his pro debut on December 3, 1994, at age 22. Despite his inexperience, Rahman had obvious natural boxing skills that propelled him to 11 knockout wins in his first 12 fights. Then he took a step up in class in March 1996 with a 10 round decision win over veteran Ross Purity, and seven months later, he repeated the feat against former world champion Trevor Burbick. In July 1997, he won the regional USBA heavyweight title, and four months later, he added another regional belt, the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight title. Defending the USBA title three times and the Intercontinental belt twice. By the fall of 1998, he was ranked as one of the top five heavyweights in the world. Equals 1998-2000, contention equals, on December 19, 1998, Rahman faced fellow contender David Tuay in a fight to determine the IBF's mandatory contender. Rahman was using his power jab well, outboxing Tuay virtually every round. At the end of the ninth round Tuay staggered Rahman with a devastating punch that dazed him. At the beginning of the next round Tuay pounced on him immediately and the referee jumped in when Rahman was bobbing and weaving. Tuay won by TKO. It was argued that it should have been a DQ. Because of the controversial nature of the loss, Rahman's ranking did not suffer, but in November 1999, he was knocked out by Oleg Maskev in the eighth round of a fight he looked to be winning. At one point during the match, Rahman was knocked through the ropes onto the floor, hitting his head on the floor. Hazem dropped out of the Ring Magazine Top 10 as a result of the surprise loss. Rahman later said that he had seen Maskev earlier in his career get knocked out in the first round by former champion Oliver McCall and he assumed he was brought in as an easy win. Because of this, he did not train as hard as he should have and was beaten. Equals 2001, first world title and Luis rivalry equals. Rahman came back with three wins including one in May 2000 over Corey Sanders in a war in which he was dropped twice and came back to win in seven, and after that he was moved back up in the rankings. Finally, on April 22, 2001, Rahman earned a shot at Lennox Lewis the WBC, IBO and IBF heavyweight champion with a win over Frankie Swindell. Rahman beat Swindell via seventh-round RTD. In the fight, held at Brak Pan, South Africa, Lewis and Rahman traded hard blows for five rounds before Rahman, a 20-to-1 underdog, stunned the crowd by defeating Lewis via fifth-round KO. It was only the second loss of Lewis' career. His first was on September 24, 1994, when Oliver McCall defeated him via second-round TKO. Lewis had an immediate rematch clause in the contract for his defense against Hazim, and chose to invoke it. Rahman and his new promoter, Don King, made plans to defend the titles against David Izzan, rather than giving Lewis his rematch. Lewis sued Rahman in U.S. federal court to enforce their contract. The judge, Neil McCluskey sided with Lewis and on November 17, 2001, in Las Vegas, the two men met again. This time, Lewis knocked Rahman out in the fourth round. Equals 2002-2004, comeback equals. Rahman's comeback fight ended in disappointment, he was beaten by a technical decision by aging former champion Evander Holyfield after headbutts from Holyfield caused a massive swelling on Rahman's forehead. On March 29, 2003, Rahman faced Tuay for a second time. The fight was ruled a draw after one judge scored it for Rahman, 
a second for 2A and a third had the score even. Rahman came in at the heaviest weight of his career. In June, Rahman was elevated to the number one contender's position by the WBC. On December 13, Rahman was matched with former WBA world champion John Ruiz, in a match for an interim WBA heavyweight title. Rahman was favored, but he lost by unanimous decision and again was out of condition. After this defeat, Rahman stepped back to a lower level of competition and defeated four journeyman fighters while working to get back into shape. His efforts paid off when he was rewarded with a fight against Carly Meehan on November 13, 2004. The fight was an elimination bout for the IBF, WBA, and WBC, with the winner being the number one contender in more than one world title organization. Rahman scored the victory by a fourth round knockout at New York City's Madison Square Garden. Equals 2005, second world title and Klitschko cancellation equals, the WBC designated Rahman as Vitaly Klitschko's next mandatory challenger. The fight was set for April 30, 2005. Klitschko injured his thigh while training for the fight, so it was rescheduled for June 18. As the state approached, Klitschko's camp said that the thigh had not fully healed. The WBC made July 23 the new fight date. Soon after this second postponement, Vitaly's doctors reportedly discovered back injuries that they said demanded minor yet immediate corrective surgery. The WBC pushed Rahman's title shot back again, this time to November 12. Rahman's share of the purse following this match would reportedly be around 4.2 million US dollars. After this third rescheduling, Rahman fought for a WBC interim heavyweight championship and defeated Monty Barrett on August 13, 2005, via unanimous decision. At this point, Klitschko would be stripped of his WBC title if his first fight back was not against Rahman. On November 7, it was announced that Klitschko had suffered severe right knee injuries during training. The WBC said it would strip him of the championship if he was unable to box within 60 a year or 90 days of a soon-to-be-announced base date. However, on November 9, Vitaly Klitschko retired instead. On November 10, 2005, the WBC voted to award its heavyweight championship to Rahman, making Rahman a two-time heavyweight champion. On December 9, 2005, a U.S. bankruptcy court judge ended Rahman's contract with Don King and he signed instead with Top Rank Boxing. Equals 2006, Tony and Mars gave title fights equals, on March 18, 2006, Rahman fought James Tony to a draw, in a 12-round fight in Atlantic City, New Jersey and he retained the WBC heavyweight title. On August 12, 2006, Rahman lost the WBC heavyweight championship to rival Oleg Maskev by 12th round TKO in a mandatory defense of his title. Afterwards he said he should have followed his trainer's game plan. Equals 2007, second comeback equals. After a long layoff, Rahman resumed his career with a 10-round unanimous decision over Taurus Sykes June 14, 2007, at the Main Street Armory in Rochester, New York. Rahman then fought three times in three months defeating Dickie Ryan by second-round TKO on September 7, 2007. Hazen followed up by stopping Sarah and Fox on October 18, 2007. On November 15, 2007, Rahman then scored a 10th round TKO for the NABF title against Sarai Lawrence. Equals 2008, Tony II and Klitschko title shot equals, on July 16, 2008, Rahman was stopped by an accidental headbutt against James Tony. Tony was originally awarded a TKO victory as the referee declared Rahman had quit between rounds, nonetheless, the TKO victory was overturned and changed to a no contest due to the headbutt. Rahman lost to Vladimir Klitschko on December 13, 2008, for his WBO, IBO and IBF titles in a fight some believe showed himself to be past his best. Klitschko dominated the fight, winning every round while making good use of his left jab. Rahman seemed unable to withstand the Ukrainian's punch power. The referee called a stop to the contest in the seventh round after Rahman failed to respond to a series of shots. Equals 2009-2011, layoff and third comeback equals, in an interview dated February 26, 2009, 
with DreamFighters.com, Rahman expressed his interest in crossing over into mixed martial arts. Fifteen months after the seventh round loss to Vladimir Klitschko in December 2008, Rahman made a comeback against 43-year-old journeyman Clinton Baldridge winning the fight by a TKO1. The former world champion next fought on June 19, 2010, against journeyman Shannon Miller in a match that took in the Niagara Falls Conference Center, Niagara Falls, New York, United States. Rahman came into the ring at 260 pounds and won the bout by TKO in the fourth round, after sending Miller down in each of the four rounds. He then won his next three fights, against Damon Reed, Marcus McGee and Galen Brown. His win over Galen Brown marked Rahman's 50th professional win in his career. He is now 5-1 since his loss to Vladimir Klitschko. Equals 2012, title shot versus Povetkin equals, he was elevated to the WBA number one contender to face Alexander Povetkin on September 29-2012 for the WBA regular heavyweight championship. Povetkin beat Rahman via second round TKO. Equals 2014, Super 8 tournament equals, in yet another attempt to re-enter the heavyweight scene Rahman signed up for the Super 8 tournament, an elimination style event staged in Auckland, New Zealand. But despite holding the tag as tournament favorite the aging Rahman was outpointed by little-known club fighter Anthony Nornson in the quarterfinal on 4 June 2014. Professional boxing record. Career, WBU heavyweight champion, IBO heavyweight champion, IBF world heavyweight champion, WBC world heavyweight champion, WBC world heavyweight champion, 2001 upset of the year a Euro ring magazine. References. External links, Hazim Rahman fight by fight career record, professional boxing record for Hazim Rahman from Box Rec.